Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali. if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a Jesus Chats video and this is all about successful alone time with God or success, being successful at spending time with God. Don't know how I'm gonna phrase this, but successful time with God. So to start this off, we're going to go ahead and just jump in to John 6, 63. It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. So this is the reason spending time with God daily is so important. What we feed is what will grow. So you can't expect to feed your spirit once a week on Sundays and expect your spirit to to grow. Not even Sundays and Wednesdays is enough. Your spirit would be pretty malnourished just, just as if you were to feed a child only on Wednesdays and Sundays. So I say that to say it's, it's very important to make sure that you're including God in every single part of your day, every single day. You wouldn't only feed your child twice a week for a couple of hours. You would make sure that your child is eating when they're hungry, that your child is being hydrated whenever they need something to drink. You would always make sure that your child is taken care of. You have to nourish your spirit as if it were your child because it is that important and it has to have life in order to give you life. Um, and it says we can't, if you feed your flesh, it's just gonna grow and all your flesh brings is death. Your flesh profits you nothing, so you can't, feed your spirit and by what I mean when you feed your spirit is you're basically not or whatever what I mean when you're feeding your flesh is you're not even feeding your spirit so you're doing everything your flesh desires everything your flesh craves everything your flesh wants maybe that attitude or you're wanting to go out and get drunk or you're wanting to smoke or you're wanting to just fornicate like those are things that feed our flesh but they profit us nothing at the end of the day in our walk with God and so here I just have five tips for some, for just some things that will help you have successful time with God or just get him more involved in your day every day. So my first thing is to spend time in his word. So we can't really spend time with God if we don't really know what he's saying or things that are of him. And the only way that we can do that is to spend time in his word. Okay, so my number two tip is to find a good fellowship group. And I'm not talking about just outside of normal church hours. Find you a good fellowship group that you can attend like on a Tuesday night or a Thursday night, a Monday night, just any other night than the nights you typically or nights or days that you typically go to church. Find you a good fellowship group just to kind of incorporate that more the more you're around people who can edify you the more you grow and then the more you're able to pour out into others you have to be poured into to be able to be poured out okay and number three is schedule it into your day so maybe you find yourself scrolling on social media for a certain period of time for a long period of time throughout your day at the same time every single day well let's just kind of x nay that and then schedule in time with god instead of scrolling on social media or lollygagging or playing a game or just doing nothing like let's let, let's benefit ourselves and you can schedule that into your day so now instead of scrolling on social media for x amount of time now i'm going to read my bible for x amount of time or i'm going to pray for x amount of time no or i'm going to reach out to this person and share the word of god for x amount of time um and number four which is really would help this will help within scheduling your time with God. So my number four tip is to find a good devotional that uses scripture that's kind of like a daily devotional. So right now I'm reading a book and I'm, it's gonna last for a while. It's, it's a book, it's not an actual devotional, but it does have like devotional style questions. Like what did this chapter help you realize? What are some things that you can change to build your relationship with God? And there's, it has you read entire, um, chapters of scripture in the midst of the chapter of the book 
those things like that, like having something that you can dedicate yourself to every single day to help you spend time with God is a good, really good way to help you. Is a really good way to help you make sure that you're able to schedule in that time. And not only that, but it's time with God and it's scripture based. So find a good scripture based devotional that's daily that you can do. And so my number five tip, and this will help you so much is remember that your time with God is supposed to look like your time with God, not anybody else's. So for instance, your time with God won't look like my time with God because I'm obviously a stay at home mom. So I like to do it whenever I get up and start my day. Um, I like to either do it before I start chores or right after I finish my chores. So I like to do it whenever I first start my day, but that may not be something that you're able to do because you may have to get up, get ready for work, get kids to school, or you just may have to get up and get ready for work. And so that takes up a large part of your morning. So just remember that your time, we all have different personalities and what intrigues us. So you have to make sure that your time is perfect for you to make you want to spend the time with God. Set yourself up a little Bible corner, a prayer room, something like that. I like to do it at my desk because when I'm at my desk, I know it's time for work. And I'm not saying that spending time with God is work, but it keeps me focused. Um, and I like to read my book right before bed because it's when the house is quiet. So I like to do it first thing in the morning. Hopefully my kids aren't up yet, but they know if mama's reading to leave her alone. So I do my read and write the plan in the, in the morning at my desk. And then I read my book right before I go to bed instead of spending time on my phone just to help me fall asleep faster. So yeah, so like I said, anytime that you know you're just scrolling around on your phone, try to substitute at least five minutes of that to reading the word of God or reading a book that's about God and his and how you can grow in your walk with him. Um, and just start out start out small if you have to, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes and grow it. But like I said, this is what's gonna help you the most is to remember that your time with God isn't supposed to look like somebody else's. Yours is supposed to be tailor-made for you to keep you wanting to do it and to keep you growing on whatever way focuses you the best. So yeah. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this and I hope that it gets you to where you want to be in your walk with God and maybe this will help you, um, I don't know, want to spend time with him and be more successful at your time with him. Yeah, so I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.